Hi, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Today is uh, the third week. <laughs> I think I got that right this time. The third week of the movie marquee. Oops. Movie marquee. Bleh, uh, bleh, nope. Movie marquee challenge. <laughs> Remember, we changed it. Um, yeah, so. <sighs> Thank you for all of your comments. Um, a lot of you were saying to fix my issue with my sweater, frog it back. <laughs> and I was like, that's too much work. <laughs> so, um, so I just left it as is and decided to uh, do this instead. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so all I have to do is the collar. I have to do the collar and then I have to do a row on the bottom to finish it off and then I am done. So I did the sleeves. I did the the gray to match with the gray here and then I did the this um, darker gray and then I did the burgundy. I think it turned out pretty good. <sighs> <clears throat> but I got to admit, I am going to be happy to see this one done <laughs> and move on to next month. Because <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know if it's the pressure of the time crunch to get things done or I don't know what it is. But in the last two, I got a whole year of this, you guys. I got to do this for a whole year. <clears throat> The last two projects that I've done for this, I've just struggled. It, I've been on the struggle bus the whole time. You know, like usually with this, uh, I will lay, I will attach. Well, this one's not. No. Um, I do the, the two pieces, <clears throat> lay it out flat, do a panel for the arm, put that, lay that down, sew up the shoulder then put it together, sew up the sides, and sew up the arm. <sighs> I forgot that I had sewed up the sides already, and I had just made the panels for the arms, so I had to pivot <laughs> again <clears throat> and try and figure out how to get the sleeves on. I did it. I'm not happy with the way it is, but um, it works. So, yeah. Yeah, but I think it's okay. I mean, I did um, the same ribbing on here as I did on the rest of it. So it gives it a little bit of texture. But uh, yeah, so yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know what I'm going to do for next month's movie because <laughs> this was just... I took a chance and did something outside of my, you know, outside of the box by doing the, um, the pipe, the piping and it didn't work out. And then I just kind of, just kind of snowballed from there. <clears throat> and I think I maybe lost my confidence or something. And I don't know, which is weird because doing sweaters is my happy place. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. But that's okay. Next month it will be a new project, a new mindset. Mindset. Yes, a new mindset. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, I just got to do like a couple inches um, for the collar. Then do a row of double crochet on the bottom. Done. Yay. So <clears throat> I'm going to stick with the burgundy, I think, for the, um, the collar. Yeah. <clears throat> Just keep it all. Because the, the burgundy is, the, the red is the color I've got the most of. So, <clears throat> but I was absolutely amazed at the fact that it did not take me all that much yarn to do this. Those cloud cakes are packed with yarn. And... <clears throat> Um, how much yardage did I say was in one of these? <clears throat> do, do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do, 240 grams, 760 yards in one of these cakes. So <clears throat> I did double it up, right? I used two of the red, two of the dark gray, two of the light gray. So, um, so in, in reality, it's six balls of yarn, but <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> but I still have quite a bit of all three colors. So, and I didn't have to dive into any more skeins or cakes. So that's good. Like, wow. So I'm thinking I might make a hat to go with it. Maybe. Because I think I'll have enough left over. So yeah. Um, easy peasy lemon squeezy, really. I mean, it, it didn't take... Usually I go through... A, it takes me about three days to do a sweater. Regardless of what kind of sweater. Whether it's a bomber jacket kind of sweater a pullover a cardigan <clears throat> three days usually if i'm really struggling with something then maybe half of a fourth day but um so for me to take a month to do this because i had to stretch it out uh i think that's where my problems kind of started to lay because I'm so hyper focused on try uh, getting the sweater done, so I'm always in that sweater mode, and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do next. This is what I'm going to do next. This is what I'm going to do next. So, <clears throat> and I I crochet all day on that one project, but with this one, it was okay. Do this much, film it, put it down. Then do this much, film it, put it down. Uh, I think I really buggered myself up on that. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, on my next project, I may have to rethink how I do it because um, I want it to turn out nice, right? I don't want to have to stop what I'm doing because it's the end of the week, you know, or like and stretch it out because then I just I seem to be running into problems <clears throat> so what I may have to do on my next project is if I'm doing a sweater or whatever film it all in three days and then just schedule it for the month or something because yeah <clears throat> I mean I did two sweaters in between doing this. So my mind was on other sweaters and yeah, my mind doesn't work that way. So it's all or nothing, right? So I've got to do it all at once. So I may have to do that depending. We'll see what next month's um, movie is and the colors. And also <clears throat> excuse me I found out I figured out somebody had asked me uh, uh, uh Yarnaby had asked me where's your first video for the month because um Heather put hers up and I haven't seen yours to say project what you know all that but what I did was I I filmed my last video for last month's project and added this month's project in with it. So, <clears throat> so I was saying, okay, so here's the project for January. Um, finished. Yay. Okay. Now this is the colors that Heather picked for this month. And these are the yarns I'm going to use and all that. And I put it all into one at the end of the month. And I think it really confused everybody. So I'm going to have to do that a totally different way again uh, th for this month. So I think what I'm going to do from now on is on the um, end of the month, I'm going to film the completed project for that month and then film on the first day <coughs> um, 
the colors and, and project that I'm going to do for that month. A little more work, but I don't want to confuse everybody because everybody was kind of scratching their head going, hmm? <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm going to have to split it all up. Uh, so yeah. So next week I will, I will get this finished and then I will film for next week. Um, and then I will do another video on the first to tell you, cause Heather is, oh, I guess next month is me. Is it? Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm going to be picking it for next month. <clears throat> so, um, so what I'll do is I'll pick, I'll, I'll start the video for the first. I have to do it a little bit early, like the day before, um, so that I can tell Heather, okay, Heather, this is the movie. And then she can prepare to film for the first. It's very confusing. This YouTubing stuff, it's not for the faint of heart. I'm telling you, it takes time and it takes scheduling and it takes work. <laughs> And a lot of brain power that someone who's going through menopause and has had COVID now it has COVID brain. It, it's a lot. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, but I'll figure it out. I'll get it all together. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm going to go. I love you all. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.